to each of you who are in Christ Jesus. We're looking at this question today. Why so many Salems in two eclipses? And how many Salems in two eclipses? How many Salems in two eclipses? And why the Salem theme? And does it have meaning? Or is it coincidence? And if it has meaning, what is the meaning? You can feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section. Be polite. We were uh, interested at the 2017 eclipse on August 21st that crossed seven Salem's. It was interesting. And it began in Salem, Oregon. Of course, it crossed the entire United States, beginning in Salem, Oregon, and entering in exiting at South Carolina. And, the, and just thinking about this, uh, the name Salem, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. And in regard to Salem, Oregon, which was the first town that was covered, by this eclipse. The history of this town, its original name in the, from the Native Americans was Chamiketa, meaning place of peace. And Salem, of course, Shalom means peace. And David Leslie was the president of the town's trustees and he suggested using the last five letters of Jerusalem when they were talking about renaming the town. And William Wilson suggested using the English version of Shalom, and that was in 1850. The town became Salem, Oregon, connecting to Jerusalem by the name. And also the fact that Salem and Shalom means peace, and the old name meant place of peace. But this is... Uh, Interesting that this eclipse started in covering Salem, Oregon. It started at impartial 4.05 p.m. UTC, but the total eclipse began at 5.16 p.m. Universal Time, UTC. And I just wanted to show you this is very interesting as we're considering the appearance of so many Salems. And it's not just the 2017 eclipse with Salems, but it's also the 2024 eclipse actually has more Salems than the 2017 eclipse. And I'm going to show that to you and you can research it. Israel time is UTC plus two hours. So the 2017 total solar eclipse first covered Oregon in totality, according to this, at 5.16 p.m. UTC time, which in Israel's time is 7.16 p.m. So while the eclipse was hitting Salem, Oregon, it became totality Israel time at 7.16 p.m., UTC time at 5.16 p.m., according to the internet here. And I just did a, a search here on the time the 2017 eclipse hit uh, Salem, Oregon. Okay, so it hit Salem, Oregon, became totality at 5.16 p.m., UTC time. And what is interesting about this, well, we did a, a search here on this, what time... Did the sun set? First, we did the sunset in Tel Aviv, Israel, August 21st, 2017, the date of the eclipse. The sunset at 7 18 p.m., according to the internet here. But when we do a, a search on Jerusalem, because there's uh, some distance between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, it says the sunset in Jerusalem on August 21st, 2017, on the date of the eclipse that the sun set at 7.16 p.m., which is UTC time, 5.16 p.m. So just to show that this eclipse in 2017 started in Salem, Oregon, became totality identically, according to this, 
with the sun setting in Jerusalem. Now that is interesting because this eclipse begins the theme of Salem, which is con seems to be connected to Jerusalem. And you feel free to share with me what you think it all means. Uh, I'm not putting a definite meaning on what it all means, but I do have an opinion. Um, and uh, so the sunset in Jerusalem at 7.16 p.m. in UTC time was 5.16 p.m. So that is the exact time that the Salem eclipse, I mean that the uh, 2017 eclipse became totality in Salem, Oregon. So we'll go on to the uh, next point here. How many Salem's are in the 2024 eclipse on April 8th? How many Salem's? And part of this came from T.W. Tram, which he said there were 10 Salem's. And uh, I will just uh, share with you why he said that. But there are eight current towns named Salem that this eclipse will actually cover. And there's two more in Texas beyond that that are no longer in existence. But in T.W. Tram's uh, accounting, he counted the two that no longer exist, which, you know, God has a plan. But uh, there, there was a Salem. There's, so there's eight Salems. There's eight Salems in this 2024 eclipse on April 8th. Salem, Arkansas, totality. Salem, Illinois. Salem, Illinois, totality. Salem, Kentucky, totality. Salem, Ohio, 99.5%. Salem, Texas, 96%. Smith County, that's Smith County, Texas. Salem, Oklahoma, 98%. Salem, Missouri, 99%. Salem, New York, 92%. So that's eight Salems. So it actually crosses more Salems. The 2024 eclipse actually crosses more Salems than the 2017 eclipse crossed. So that was a total of 15. But there's actually can be considered nine more that have the name Salem in it, and I'll show you that. There are other Salem's. If you count this, like West Salem, Ohio, that's totality. New Salem, New York, that's 96%. New Salem, Pennsylvania, 91%. New Salem, Kentucky is totality. New Salem, North Dakota is partial with 63%. New Salem, Texas is 93%. And Salem, Texas, and Wood County that no longer exists, but Quitman does exist, and there the eclipse is totality. And Salem and Milam County, Texas, which no longer exists, is deep parcel at 95%. And then there's New Salem, Indiana. So uh, all together at 19. But if you ask the internet how many Salems are in America, what you get is 26 Salems. And uh, of those 26, that's scattered over 26 states. And so that is... Uh, if you don't count the two in Texas that no longer exist, this number 26 doesn't count the two in Texas that no longer exist. So the Salem's, the total number of Salem's would be 15 out of 26, or 17 out of 28, if we count the two in Texas that no longer exist. And that 61% of the towns named Salem are covered by these two eclipses. In, fight, in spite of the fact that the two eclipses cover approximately 10 to 12 percent of the land mass of the United States, but 61 percent of the towns named Salem are covered by the two eclipses. And so, uh, with the 2017 eclipse starting in Salem, Oregon, as we said, and then another very interesting thing is the crisscross uh, line, the center line of the crisscross is at Salem Road. And, um, I'll show you that the crisscross area here is Carbondale up here, and down here is Maconda, Illinois, past this little uh, line here down, down here, Maconda, Illinois, and then right here, uh, just east of Cedar Lake, just southwest of Carbondale, or northwest of Maconda, is this little road called Salem Road. Salem Road, the closest road to the very center line. And right there next to it is Cedar Lake. And that is where the crisscross 
area is on Salem Road. So that's pretty interesting. That's a little dead end road like this. The little dead end road, Salem Road in Maconda, Illinois. The closest road to the center line just east of Cedar Lake. That is interesting. And of course, we have shared this before, but we always want to remember this. Praise the Lord. This eclipse on April 8th just crosses the area that uh, that is the crisscross area. About 50 miles from there comes to Rapture, Indiana. And there's one rapture in the entire United States in terms of a town. And that eclipse crosses it in totality. In other cities... That this eclipse crosses on April 8th is Bride, Tennessee at 98% and Elijah, Missouri, which is totality. Of course, those things can relate both to the rapture and because the end, the end times here. Elijah be one of the two witnesses, we do believe. So it's interesting as we consider this is the very first use of the word Salem in the Bible. Genesis 14, 18, the first use. Then Melchizedek, Melchizedek. King of Salem brought out bread and wine. And Melchizedek means king, righteous king, or righteous king, the king of Salem. Melchizedek, king of Salem, king of peace. And this was referring in early times to Jerusalem before it was ever called Jerusalem. Before any. Yeah, but so uh, this is the very first name in the Bible of Jerusalem. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. And you know, we are waiting as children of the king. We are waiting as children of the righteous king. We are waiting for the king that has already brought us peace in our hearts, the king of Salem. He's brought peace through the blood that he shed on the cross to cleanse our sin. And we have peace with God through faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But the Bible says here, he brought out bread and wine to Abraham. And you know, we're thinking about this. Jesus isn't going to celebrate Passover anymore until he celebrates it with us in the kingdom of God. And what I believe after the rapture, then we get to celebrate Passover again together with Jesus. And he was priest of the Most High God, as Jesus is king, and he is priest. He is prophet, priest, and king, God the Son, who became a human being, took on human flesh, added a human nature. That is, he was divine. Divine nature was eternal, always been. But he added a human nature in God's astounding plan to save us from our sins and give us peace. And he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God, most high, creator of heaven and earth. And praise be to God, most high, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. So, so praise be the Lord. Melchizedek came and met Abraham, blessed him, and said, Praise be to God, most high, who delivered your enemies into your hand. I mean, you come, come to the point to have peace. That's the very first use of the word Salem. And in the Psalm 76, verse 1 to 3, In Judah is God known, his name is great in Israel. In Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. God's dwelling place is God's tabernacle is in Salem and his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword in the battle, Selah. And when we see this word Selah, in the King James Version, many times it can at least seem to have a reference to the rapture of the church. So that you can look at that. It's interesting. And I'll conclude with this. Hurricane. So I'm asking you the question, what does all those Salems mean? What does all those Salems mean? Uh, what do you think it means? I do have an opinion. I'm not going to share it right now. Uh, in, in, in total, I'm just uh, give you food for thought. Interesting observations, but I will share this. Hurricane Idalia, six months ago, hit Rapture Island there, close to Florida, just off Florida here. And August 30th, 2023, and Idalia means behold the sun. 
So before I said there's only one place called Rapture, and one of the commenters uh, mentioned, hey, there is a Rapture Island in Florida, and yes, there is. So actually, there's two places called Rapture, but but only one town called Rapture, and that is Rapture, Indiana, but there is Rapture Island. I don't know if it uh, has any population or not, but uh, um, but Idalia hit Rapture Island, and Idalia means behold the sun. And so I just thinking, behold the Son of God. He's coming soon. Or we might think it this way, behold the sun, as in the upcoming total solar eclipse, because Jesus said there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. So Idalia, going to Rapture Island, is waving a flag here saying, look at the sun for the, for the, for the upcoming rapture of the bride. So we think, behold the sun in the upcoming total eclipse of, October, of April 8, 2024. And it covers Rapture, Indiana in totality, 50 miles from the place where the crisscross is. By, and it's over by 3.15 p.m. It's 50 miles from the center line of the two eclipse. So we just want to close here with, uh, with this uh, song here. All the way my Savior leads me. What have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercies who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, ere by faith in him to dwell. For I know whate'er befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. All the way my Savior leads me, and each year's each winding path I tread gives me strength for every trial, and he feeds me with living bread. Though my weary steps may falter, and my soul a thirst may be, gushing from a rock before me, though a spirit of joy I see. All the way my Savior leads me, oh, the fullness of his love, Perfect rest in me is promised in my Father's house above. When my spirit, clothed in mortal, wings its flight through realms of day, this my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. The Lord bless you all today, and uh, you know, watch, uh, watch, woman. Sister Lisa had an interesting video today, maybe a little bit of a clue also as to what's happening with all these Salems, with these eclipses, Xing out America. Time is short. I do agree with this. Time is short. Jesus Christ is coming soon for the bride, and judgment is coming soon, I do believe. So prepare to meet God. Check this website, he died for you.com. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, Colossians 3 says. But when Christ shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. God bless you all.